This is Wondering Gypsy's uh, video where she's talking about her tattoos and meanings behind them. That's one of her tests, but I want to get the next one that's on her hand. And uh, um, she's got a, she gets probably one of the best pieces of advice any YouTuber has ever presented uh, on, a, on a YouTube channel, advice for Russian tests between people. And I'm going to come on to that, but I'm going to give my take on what I think the, the image on her hand looks like, who, who I think the image reminds me of. It's about a three or four minute clip. Their hand, their hand, this was a painful one, very painful. Getting your hand, hands and your feet are probably some of your most painful tattoos. And when this got finished, it was so swollen, like ridiculous. How I managed to finish this tattoo, I have no clue because this, this hurt. So, we all know, or maybe you don't, but I used to be married. I was married for like a whole total of three whole months. So, if you want to call that married, I mean, it was on paper, I guess. So, yeah, three months is what my marriage lasted for. My one and only marriage. So, I do not like to wear jewelry. I cannot stand wearing rings, necklaces, earrings, any of that stuff. The only thing you guys ever see me wearing is that leather bracelet that I have that was made for me and it has my name on it. That's the only thing I ever wear. I mean, my whole entire life, I've never liked jewelry, ever. So, when we got married, I decided <clears throat> to get his name off tattooed on my ring finger. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to let you guys know, I don't care how much you love your significant other. I don't care if you guys have been together for a decade. Don't ever get somebody's name tattooed on you. Ever. That's your public service announcement for the day right there, okay? Okay. So, we split up. And I have to get his name off of my ring finger. Well, I, I didn't want to be stuck with that. Thank God it was just a small little thing. And so, I went to some random tattoo artists. And this goes with one of my old tattoos. And I had them put roses on my knuckles to cover up his name right there. And it was just originally, okay, it was supposed to be roses. It looked nothing like roses, but it was supposed to be roses. So yeah, so then I had like four things on my knuckles. But his name wasn't there anymore, so that was good. But then I found my amazing tattoo artist in Vegas, and I had him tattoo this chick on me. And if you notice, the chick, she looks like she's crying. She looks like she's sad. Because we all know that's how I used to be. I used to be a very sad, depressed person. And so the chick on my hand. That chick reminds me of, um, it's an individual. I don't get this story, but um, she's very popular with the Hispanic community. She reminds me of La Llorona, L-A-L-L-O-R-I-N-A, -L -L or something like that. But it's uh, La Llorona, the weeping woman. Um, I, I've told a story a couple of times here on YouTube, and there's lots of other. You, if, you, if you're interested, you, you can just type while you're running. You get the songs, the stories, all kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, that chick reminds me of of Ayurona for some weird reason. I guess it's that sad look or something, because you always see Ayurona with a real sad look. You never see it with a happy look. Uh, but well, if, if the second, if my life had ended the way, if my life had turned the way Ayurona is dead, I'd probably be sad too. I'd probably be weeping too. But uh, yeah, okay. Love your video, Sarah. Bye bye.